Om Shanti, greetings of love to each and every one, and special greetings, of course, to our Didi. It's, uh, I don't know what to say after watching Daddy Prakashman, isn't it? And um, I just want to express, as I'm waiting for Muni Didi to join, but to express huge gratitude, really, to the whole Avyakti Parivar team and Gayatri Ben. I think that, um, you know, we never thought we'll be reviewing these clips. These archives are really rich. And so it feels like we're invoking Daddy G. We are feeling, you know, her presence. And we experience even a close relationship with her, even through these video clips. So I used to think, you know, sometimes to Baba, Baba, I'd like to go to Satur region like Moni Didi, have chit chat every Thursday, every Sunday. <laughs> but now I'm thinking maybe I just need to go to Avyakti Parivar <laughs> and I get the whole bonus. We meet the ancestors, we have experiences, we even get Toli. So Avyakti Parivar has become like a full package even better than subtle regions, I think. So thank you really to the team. And I know Judy did the so the same thing with her note on her meetings with uh, the Dijenki and the um, thoughts that Sister Gayatri is pulling out are so beautiful. So Mooney Didi, I have a question for you. Was Daddy G always Daddy G, was she always Daddy Prakashmani or she became Daddy Prakashmani? Or do you think she came to Baba already almost as Daddy G? I think that, uh, yeah, she she grew in the sense of, but she was. Since she came young, she was very bright, very obedient, very active, always very close to Baba. Like Baba had eye on Mama, same was with Dadi Prakashmani, because uh, I mean, she looked very special from very beginning, very brilliant. And, uh, you know, it's just like understanding Baba and following Baba's directions and doing accurately what should be done. I think those qualities were always there with Dadi. And as she herself said, taking initiative doing what Baba says and take number one in that. So because we ask her that, how did you got number one? She said, because I want, I was everywhere number one. In classroom, I was number one. If something has to be done, I was the first one to do it. So she said, I, I did it. So she got that. I mean, she had that personality that capacity. So she did it from very beginning, actually. You know, we have, if I can say like this, we have an interesting experience with you because I knew you as Sister Moini. Now we know you as Moini Didi. <laughs> and I'm thinking in me, you know, is it changing anything or does it change anything? Or so I'm, I'm enjoying that, um, that reflection. What about you with Daddy G's? Um, she was already Daddy when you met her the first time, or were they Sister Prakashmani or Sister Kumarka, and then she one day became Daddy as well? Mm -hmm. Because we used to call all Daddies as a sister, no? Like long time we call Gulzar, Gulzar Behan. You know, afterwards we start calling her Daddy. But, uh, you know, because they were seniors, so for us, we didn't use Vardadi, but we definitely saw them more as uh, our seniors, you know, and later on Vardadi came in. But, um, you know, her purity and her, uh, you know, as uh, it mentioned, equality, like Brother Ramesh came in Gyan, Nirvair Bhai was there. And, uh, you know, how she worked with them. So I think that Daddy was Daddy always, as far as I know. As far as my experience, I never saw her just as a only sister. 
but always in the form of senior sister, then we start calling daddy. And especially when Baba became aware, the way she started playing part of taking care of whole yagya. And sometimes I wonder they, are the, they were farsighted or if they knew our future, that they will give you what you, they knew that we will use it. Like I, I always feel that how much she taught me practically to do so many things. And of course it was Didi Man Moini, but Dari was always, always. And now I really appreciate, I say, oh, Dari taught me this. Dari told me this all the time. I remember all that, you know. So, yeah, for me, Dadi was Dadi mm. from the beginning. And do you think that, um, I don't know, maybe not by becoming Dadi or being seen by everyone as Dadi and not just sister, did it change something in her? And when she became Baba's main instrument, do you think that the new role that she received transformed her? Or did she receive the role because she was already like that and <laughs> didn't change much? I think it's both ways, no? Yeah, because naturally she started feeling responsible. And, uh, but it's so interesting as soon as she became like after a big papa as uh, the main person, uh, she started forming the team, she started forming the groups. She said to us, now you all have to come. You have to take more responsibility. You all have to come and spend more time. So in the beginning, we found it a little difficult. Then she said, okay, two weeks, another two weeks. You know, keep having some training, some more things we should know about. Yeah, yeah. So I think that one good thing is that she started including all of us from very beginning. You know, otherwise she could have said, oh, I will do it. I will manage. But she said, Baba is with me, but you all have to come and be part of us. So it was very interesting to see how she included all of us, taught us so many things. And then we also became like her team, no? She always worked with the team. So we became that team who can support her all the time. In the beginning, it was not easy. Like if she has to travel, then they can't send brother and sister. It was too much expense too. So in the beginning for a while, I was used to travel with her. They said, oh, you are strong enough and uh, you can, they didn't say directly, but you can be okay alone with that. So two of us went to many different places in India. We traveled together and, uh, but she never acted as Dadi with me, you know. I always felt like she, not equal, but she was very playful. She was very much like, uh, she will show as if she needs support, then we need support. You know, she was like a little a young girl with me. But of course she knew that, uh, you know, different ways I can also, uh, take care of many things, uh, whether talking to people or even my physical presence, because I was quite strong and tall and I knew how to talk to people. So it was very interesting role I had with her as soon as she became, you know, in charge and chief. Very beautiful role, traveling together and anything happens, she will call me and we will talk about different things. So, yeah, Dadi was Dadi, but for me, she was like my my sister. <laughs> and mm. I was her sister. Sometimes she was older, sometimes I was older. You know, so I had more experience of outside world, and they were very new. So, you know, so I think we were together as sisters. When we listen to her classes and. That's why I find those clips are so wonderful because we are almost reliving her presence. You know, the, really the feeling that she's right mm -hmm. in front of us and it's beautiful. 
And it seems like every daddy has such a unique way of mm. giving yam, you know, the way they each are so different. It's like they each have their garam masala, you know, they all have their own <laughs> mix of spices <laughs> in the way they can tell us the, and daddy was quite radical, no? When I hear those, the way she gives knowledge is like, there's no compromise, you know, gyan is gyan and, and she challenges a lot. I'm wondering how much do you think that the daddies are daddies and daddyji, of course, because of the quality of their relationship with Baba? Yeah, recognition of Baba as God. You know, they always had that in their mind. Of course, they keep saying Baba, but more like a God. And uh, so because of that recognition, and of course, then relationship and, you know, these daddies didn't ever had, like, did they had faith or not? hundred percent, you know, I don't know from very beginning, but when I saw them, sometimes I used to be amazed. Even like body is not well, they are so light. I'm settling karmic accounts is drama. You know, there was no thought of, you know, okay, it's very good to settle karmic accounts. So I'm settling through the body. So their minds were so peaceful. So faith has faith completely because of recognition of Baba, that he's the one who gives power. He's the one who gives us inheritance. He's making us the masters of the world. You know, was 100% sure in their hearts. So I really appreciated that lot in that is. And I keep reminding myself that uh, how much faith they had that whatever is going to happen is according to drama. It's our benefit. Baba is with us all the time. They will keep saying these words, you know, so. I was asking that question because <clears throat> I was reflecting this week on, you know, just being with Baba as Shiv Baba and thinking, hey, you're my dad, you're my father. And I was thinking, do I really get it? You know, I really, am I really acting like his child? Because Daddy G was saying, you know, if you are Baba's child, I mean, you have to behave accordingly. And even she said the words and scars, this is Maya, you know, you just talk about divine virtues. And I was thinking, wow, you know, where is she coming from? <laughs> and I was thinking, is my relationship with Baba, did I recognize him as a father 100%? Or is it sometimes that we, we are lacking some recognition and therefore the dharna is not according to what it should be? Because really my dad, you know, if, if there's love for my dad, if I recognize my dad, why would I not behave like him and honor him? So I'm maybe sometime conveniently changing my, my thinking of uh, Baba as my dad. What do you, th what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I think that uh, there might be percentage recognition is there. But again, I think that sometimes we try to uh, fit ourselves or necessary to fit ourselves into the social system or according to our career, our job. But internally in soul consciousness, whenever we are in soul consciousness, there's definitely this feeling of, you know, God as parents or Baba as father. I always, I don't know, I always feel he's my parents and, you know, even speaking, saying something, I keep to that dharana that how can I, as God's child, say things like that? Because there are some, they are good in dharana, but not necessarily in speaking or even drishti or, but it's our royalty, and uh, really it should be our personality, being God's child. How will God's child behave? So as much I recognize, then I use God's virtues and remind myself. I don't need to remind. I feel it should be very natural. We are children of God. Right? We say no. So yes. as we say, we have to just stay in that stage, you know. Because I was feeling that sometimes, you know, we say in Christianity, 
we used to say, yes, God is the father, so our father, which is in heaven. So there was an identity of God as father. And of course, when we heard Baba, it changes. It's, it's almost not the same father anymore. <laughs> it's not the main, it's not the father we used to be told about, not the same character, not the same personality. Yeah. What was your experience when you were in front of Brahma Baba? Were you thinking sometimes, I have two fathers right in front of me. So Brahma <laughs> Baba is my father. And then there's another one. Did it, were you looking at the forehead thinking, where are these two, two fathers now? <laughs> yeah. It's like Bab Dada, no? We always have, because we want to see Shiva Baba and Brahma Baba. No? We're not creating direct relationship with Brahma Baba because that he didn't encourage. He said, Shiva Baba comes to meet you, give you Drishti through Brahma Baba. And you are children of Shiva Baba as souls, and then you are adopted children of Brahma Baba. So this always was this combined, uh, Bab Dada, mother, father, you know, and it's not only our consciousness, but we used to experience, you know, sometimes Shiva Baba is speaking, sometimes Brahma Baba, sometimes as mother, sometimes as father. So there was real experience of Bab Dada together, mother, father together, you know. Yeah, it was real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you always told us that. Um, you always tell of, us that. Mm, yeah, sorry. it's not a question of seeing them separate. Mm. I always uh, looked at them, Bab Dada, mother, father. You know, both together combined. Yeah, because Baba tells us that you know we have three fathers, so <laughs> Brahma and Baba I, is also playing the role of the father. But you know, you always tell us that there is connection relationship and then remembrance do you find that relationships need to be um, explored or researched or developed more so that they are real because i wonder sometimes if it's not a little bit intellectual yes baba is my friend baba is my beloved baba is my teacher we understand but i'm wondering if sometimes it's not a little bit on the intellectual level and not on the real experience and I feel the daddies that's what the difference to me is that their relationship with Baba is so real that they have no choice than behave the way they behave because that relationship is holding almost their dharna and for me I find sometimes maybe some relationships are not developed as much as they should be so that they become real I'm wondering it's what's your experience it's very interesting your question is on Saturday, always from the Murli of Sunday. And I don't read it. I never read I never read the Murli. Yeah. <laughs> Last time also you asked me question and Baba was answering. Same is mm. the Murli you will read tomorrow. I read because I read in Hindi on Saturday. Baba is saying, if teacher is teaching you, you can't look at teacher as a friend and start talking as a friend. You have to be student at that time. So I was saying, adopting to that form, the form of the relation. That means when he is teacher, you look at him as teacher. When he is uh, father, look at him as father, as a child. Then you're not thinking I'm a student. To at the right time, to adopt to the right form will give you experience and the attainment of that relationship. It's very, very clear, a very interesting concept which Baba is explaining in the Murli. So tomorrow when you read Murli, all of you, you can underline. He's saying you have at the right time, right relationship and create that right form of yours. That means when it's friend, you can have chit chat, but not with teacher. Teacher will say study. You should be student now. And mm -hmm. when it's guru relationship, then you have to be follower. So it's a very good concept. And I think we should really try to experiment with that. So that as you say, real experience from Baba will be definitely there and attainments also. Mm -hmm. So your question will be answered in mm -hmm. detail tomorrow. But that means Baba listens to your question on Saturday. <laughs> 
and give you answer Sunday. I was surprised even last Saturday. And same question you're asking now, is the whole morning tomorrow? Mm. So I, I'm sure you will get detailed, clear answer. Right? I didn't read, uh, I don't read them early of Sunday before uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday when I go to bed or early Sunday morning. But I don't know if I should start reading Merley of Sunday before our chit chat. Maybe I won't have questions anymore. <laughs> no, it's good, no good to have questions. And yeah, tomorrow you will have more answers, right? <laughs> okay, last little question before we leave. Um, what do you think, how do we know that our relationships with Baba are real? Do you think there's some signs that says that you recognize that the relationship are real? How do we attainment, know? attainment from that relationship, no. When, uh, like Baba is ocean of love, and if I really, really feel love, and that is, you know, I feel our loving, being loving, and our love is because of what I receive from Baba, right? So, like peace, you know, how can we have, we can be so peaceful, it's because Baba is ocean of peace, my relationship with one who is ocean of peace, making me that peaceful. You know, the quality which we have is really from God, right? And because of that quality, we can say, of course, we have relationship. It's the real one. You know, how much patience, tolerance, you know, whatever BKs have in their life is really from Baba, no? So through our qualities, through our attainment, again, sanskar. We don't have any sanskar now, as that is said. Basically, it's God's sanskar, me. Right? So it's Congratulations. Really You're answering very well all these questions, uh, difficult questions. <laughs> so congratulations. And as much as I'm appreciating um, Daddy G, Daddy Jenki, and Daddy Gulzar's Graham Masala when they share again, I think your graham masala is unique also and very, very tasty, very nice and very enjoyable. So thank you for spicing up properly knowledge. So every night we really enjoy, every time I'm surprised and amazed, where did you get all these thoughts? You know, you must have a good relationship with Baba, I think. Mm -hmm. So okay. yes, totally time. This is totally, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice totally. On the top, nuts, and at the bottom, I think it's white chocolate. So good toli. We have actually a lot of, lot of toli. And we are thinking how to distribute. And especially Canada, anything we send, they say it will be difficult. There will be custom, they will open it, and we are able to send in USA, but not to Canada. But we have a lot of toli, right? Okay, enjoy mm -hmm. slowly. Thank you. Thank you, Manididi, and good night. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. Yeah.